This is my third visit to Sudbury Jail. For me, it was to see if there has been improvements uh, since my first two visits. We know that there's a strike or lockout deadline coming on Saturday, and uh, how ready are we for this, uh, specifically in Sudbury? And uh, uh, what does that mean for, for the people who work here and who live here? The jail was built in 1928. It was built for 56 inmates. We now, without the renovations, we can see like 140, 160 people crammed into a place that is very, very small, very, very old, very dirty. I've been using the time that the legislature is sitting to, to travel around the province and see some of the different facilities and, and probation and parole offices as well as the jails. The staffing levels are, are just insufficient and so as a result um, many of our facilities are in regular if not constant lockdown uh, with inmates who don't have access to, um, to any kind of programming or to be out and so in terms of cleanliness, in terms of mental health concerns, I mean it's just, um, it's a pressure cooker. Conditions are deplorable. Uh, the, the, the mice, uh, the, uh, the smell, the garbage uh, are, are, is everywhere. Correctional officers rely on staffing uh, to do our job safely um, and because we don't have staff, um, we can't do the job. Uh, today, uh, because of the lockdown and the situations that we've uh, encountered over the weekend, um, the inmates are locked down, visits have been cancelled, programs have been cancelled. Um, you know, those are daily uh, events in our institution because of just staffing levels. We want the Ministry of Labour to recognize that we are unique. We don't work in a mine, we don't work in a paper mill, we're not carpenters, we don't work with machinery, we work with people. And as our backup and as our first line of defence, it's each other. Um, and until things are changed uh, within that act to recognize that, um, you know, jails are going to be dangerous, and they always are. But uh, those changes need to be, need to occur. Come in here. It's a hundred years old. It has not been maintained. It was built for a third of the. You know, 56 inmates were at 180 within the same square footage of what we had before. They're packed one on top of the other in a filthy, dirty, stinky environment. And that's for the staff just as much as the inmate. This is not right.